What's up, carpoolers? Ready to see some shit? Now that's the shit. So welcome to Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit. The only vlogging unit that is mobile and brought to you by Corduroy Paco. As you may have noticed, this is not the 1999 Mercury Mystique. It is once again in the shop. So I am rocking and rolling in the lovely 1996 Ford Mustang. Of all the days to forget my sunglasses, it's the day I'm in a convertible when I could be picking up chicks. Believe it or not, there's a lot of girls who would love to hop into Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit. You can't see them because the other camera is always like girls on the side of the road, at, thumbs out, please, you know, Corduroy Paco, stop, take me in the vlog. I want you to, you know, you know, vlog, you know, me. I don't know what they mean by that, so I usually, I usually just let it go. So I've been shopping around for a new mobile vlogging unit. I can only talk about it now because the 99 Mystique isn't here and I don't want to hurt its feelings. It's Apollo Creed and life is the Russian. And we all know what happens. Spoiler alert, the Russian kills him, punches him. And then Rocky picks up the towel and Stuart's like, throw the damn towel! And he doesn't do it. Because Apollo's like getting punched and punched and punched. So Apollo's like, no! Because he's getting the piss beat out of him. And then it's dramatic, he drops the towel in slow motion. Doom! Apollo's falling in slow motion. Ooh. Towel's dropping. Apollo, ooh. towel. Apollo, towel. Apollo hits the ground at the same time as the bloody towel hits the ground. Symbolism! So life on the open road, it's supposed to feel better in a convertible, I hear. Ooh, going under those things is neat. You can see around you more, your blind spots are better. Well, better at not being blind, so maybe worse. I don't know, it depends how you can take that. Yes! Man, that's awesome! I'm reaching the sky! You can do stuff like that in a convertible. You can't, other ones, keep hitting the roof, it sucks. You feel like a mushesh. What kind of cars do you have? What's the best car you've ever driven? Way back when I lived with my parents, and we had this Grand Marquis. The hood was 11 and a half feet long. The entire car was 30. It was like driving a boat, and you glided along. And with the speedometer and stuff, like you know how now the actual numbers glow? No, 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 not then. It had lights in it that lit up the entire panel. So when you turned on the lights, your face lit up. We could fit five people in the back seat and five people in the front seat because they're both bench seats, had the gear thing up here. Awesome. They don't make cars like that anymore. Now they're sleek, they're hip, they're aerodynamic. This was like if you put five cardboard boxes together and started driving it. What's this guy doing? People honking, people not driving. It's ridiculous. And on that note, carpoolers, I have arrived at my destination. So I hope you enjoyed this topless edition of Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit. I enjoyed doing it. Oh, that's how you do a parking spot, kids. So carpoolers, thanks for checking me out. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember, <laughs> check your mirrors.